What's up? Jesse from Crazy Quads. And we're gonna go over the new Rush stack. The new Rush tank mini stack. Okay, this is a 20 by 20 stack. Now, <laughs> I didn't really wanna do a review. I didn't, not, not that I didn't want to. Okay, I didn't intend on doing a review on this, but I had put one in my squirt and I just had to do a review because I had so much success with it. And I love it so much. Now, anybody who knows Cine Whoops, you know that with the ducted systems, okay, you get your little yaw movements and you, it's a little bit of a back and forth to tune it out and get it to fly as you want it to fly. And nice and smooth without any twitches or movements or anything. This was the first stack I straight soldered right in, pid, straight stock PID tunings, took it right off and was blown away on how steady and locked in it was without any tuning at all. So I definitely wanted to push this out and let everyone know about this stack. So let's go over it real quick. This is the VTX. Now, if you notice here, there is no pins on here because this does have a pin header for it to go in on the stack. Um, that's because, well, I used the full stack on my build and I had, um, I actually had the stack and the Rush Tank Mini separate, so I know you can use the two. Which, by the way, Rush, I want to put in um, that either to come with included with the VTX or the stack here, um, the actual pin header used that's soldered onto here. Because if you notice in the bottom here, you got the holes for your pin header and you put that straight in there to lock in there. Now you can use a regular Rush Tank Mini to replace if uh, for whatever reason you burn that one out, you can use these to replace it right on there, but neither the stack or the VTX comes with the pin headers to use to be able to solder on there and use right on your stack. So I just recommend if you guys could throw that in with one or the other, that would be really cool. Um, I'm just going to end up making my own here and eh, whatever it works. So let's go over it. This is the breast tank mini VTX 20 by 20. This goes up to 800 milliwatts and is smart audio switchable with MMCX out to SMA. You got the LEDs here Two switches your channel and uh, channel and power. And this is the new Rush Core VTX, or not VTX, I'm sorry, flight controller. And if you notice here with the plastic, this is the actual gyro chip. So it's actually making their own little soft mount for the chip, which is pretty cool because with micros, it's really hard to do good soft mounting and be able to have a good stack, especially one that locks into itself and try to get that you know those little rubber things in there it, it's just kind of a pain in the butt and you never get it really truly soft mounted well with this new 20 by 20s here they said well let's let's isolate this chip here well i think that may have something to do with why my squirt flies so darn good on stock pits and that was what sold me right off the bat i was like i don't even have to really mess with it it comes with uh beta flight uh, 4.1 point, I, th I think it's 4.1, yeah. The new one, so you do have to do the VTX table, which there are um, the actual downloads and everything where you can just kind of pop it in there and then you just put in your uh, milliwatt power that you need. Uh, just a little extra step, but it flew great, so I didn't touch anything else. I didn't want to change it. Um, as far as... Uh, anything with the smart audio, everything was plug and play. It went right in. Everything worked right off the bat. Um, my only other gripe is the screws here, where the screws actually go from the bottom all the way through the stack and then screw into the top screws here. Um, as a tech, the only reason I don't like that is because I can't just undo these and undo my stack for if I need to do any maintenance for or add anything. But on the, on the plus side, Rush kind of, I guess, saw that coming with this design and made it to where everything 
has its own plug. Now, there are a few uh, pieces on here to solder. I believe uh, there is the other UART pins and uh, RX-5 here. Um, R yeah, and there's RX-3 pad right here. Um, if you're using Crossfire, now I'm using Crossfire, but as you can see, there's only three wires. And that's because I'm actually using the SBUS protocol that you can change in your channel map or your output map, I believe, in your Lewis script or your money module to where you only have to use the channel one for SBUS, which makes it really, really easy to put the stack together. Right here is the camera port. Literally plug in your camera, plug into it, done. That's it. And this was literally solder right onto the receiver, plug in, done. So really all the heavy soldering that you're doing is just the motor wires and your power lead, which that's the next part I want to go over is the ESC. This here is BL Heli 32 bit. Okay, so it is, you're going to have to use BL Heli 32 in case you don't have it. You're going to have to get it. But it's a 32 bit, 30 amp. And D shot 1200, I believe. And man, this thing pumps. It's 30 amps, goes up to 6S, does really well. It's just literally, you know, a big muscle in a small package. I haven't had a single problem with this thing. I am running, what is it, 3600 KV, 1507 motors, and Generally, you probably shouldn't go over 4S, but just for the heck of it, because I know this thing can take 6S, I put a 5S on here, and it flew great. I didn't have a single problem. Nothing to even be worried about. So this is one rock-solid ESC so far, and I'm going to keep putting it through its paces. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, uh, go ahead and put it down in the comments there. I'll try to get to it. Uh, like and subscribe if you like everything you heard. And uh, there it is. That's the Rush Mini stack. Uh, again, my last thoughts are just for me as a micro stack has been the best stack. I, to be honest, I have not put this up against something like uh, hooked it up with like 2207s or 2306 you know, motors, like regular five inch motors. So not really 100% sure on that. But so far with micro, it has taken everything that I've put at it so far no problem and the vtx we already know this sucker has been working great rush tanks have already made a name for themselves and this awesome vtx crystal clear picture no motor noise at all absolutely awesome stack setup highly recommend go get it right now go get it right now and don't forget to like and subscribe see it
Jay.